All right, guys. All right, all right. We are here with Ferrets. We have just watched Citizen Con. We've had to change our shots a few times. Um, obviously, we will address the 400i in a separate video. Um, we'll obviously let you know our thoughts and stuff on it. Right, but as for, obviously, the big surprise that actually it wasn't really a surprise because I called it. But uh, the PCU actually went live for Wave 1. Admittedly, I said it was going to happen at the end of the show. It happened halfway through the show, but regardless. Um, but yes, uh, 3.15.0 is Wave 1 on the PTU. We are playing it now. Uh, well, I'm mostly playing it now. Fez was watching Sitcon and got DC'd. Um, but yeah, we'll go through it. We'll break it down. We'll let you know what the bugs are, what it's like, and uh, yeah, go from there. So... Citizen Con Alpha 3.15, Star Citizen, sorry, Star Citizen 3.15.0, patch 7814123. Um, obviously, database reset, yes. Long term persistence is disabled, full wipe on all accounts. Pledge copy is enabled. Starting million, uh, money is 15 million. Testing focus is healing active status, hospitals, Star Lifter Hercules A2, bombs. Infiltrate and defend missions. Oh, I haven't done any of those yet. Loot generation. Orison version 2. I haven't even seen that yet, actually, to be honest. And I was over there, too. And the arena commander revamp. Known issues. Ground vehicles and, and, and initial spawn point. With the latest update, your initial spawn point, uh, please choose the location of all your ships. If you have ground vehicles, though, uh, the pledge stops by uh, selecting your home world as with the ground sports ground... Okay, so it says, select your initial home location that supports ground vehicles like New Babbage would be best. So, presumably, Hurston, you can do it there. That answers one question that you had regarding Hurston. Mm. After yeah. a crash, attempt to reconnect may result in infinite loading screen and been able to interact with the menu. Players will need to exit the game and reload to fix this. Uh, pledge items lost on death. Uh, with this upcoming change, uh, players will now lose all items to their character upon death. These items include items from the pledge store, including subscriber items. We're currently looking into different solutions for this, but 3.15.x. Be warned, if you die with a subscriber item on you, you lose them in game, but they'll be not removed from your account or pledge store. These will be returned upon a new major patch or through a reset. New feature, hospitals is obviously in. So when you initially start 315, you set your location. I set new Babbage, for example, and then basically have to move everything over to M1. So obviously you set your location. When you die, obviously you will go through and re or respawn wherever you do your imprint to change your imprint go into the hospital book a room go into the room and there's a table a console at the end of the bed you go up to that and then it says uh change imprint or something like that and then you can change it from there um that's how you actually change that um while i'm doing this i might actually remember to uh, drop item? I sent you a friend request in the OPT, by the way. Yeah, cool. Um, alright, so what else have we got? Uh, personal inventory, tier 0, asset manager app. Obviously, guys, this has been talked to death about. Everybody pretty much knows everything about this. Um, so, obviously, at the end of the day, physical items is a real thing. Um, obviously getting all your gear over at your where you want it to be is a little bit frustrating but it's part of the game now so yeah that exists um, obviously you can only carry so many things on you that's obviously important your ship will have more storage space than anything um, oh sorry your your base will have more storage space than anything your ship has a, a little bit, um, but what you can carry on you per se is very few and far between. Um, like, we're talking like you can carry like a few bits of ammo and stuff like that. They are really, really hard on the whole 
yeah, really hard on the on the whole what you can and can't carry on your persons. Um, apart from that, uh, obviously we have the uh, defend and infiltrate missions, um, which is obviously that I think there's five each lawful and uh, five unlawful. Uh, we've got bombs, which is obviously the A2 and the new bombing technique. Uh, weapons and items, obviously there's the new multi-tool, the new uh, healing attachments. Um, I haven't played around with any of those yet. Uh, Arasan version 2, which is obviously the uh, adding of more shops to expand the areas at Arasan. Uh, this includes Crusader's showroom, plus it also shows things like Cousin's Crows, which I still haven't checked out yet. Port Alazar has been moved. It's obviously right above Arasan, so keep that in mind. Arena Broken Moon has been refreshed and updated, and apparently looks really, 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 really good. Change your shorts. Um, gameplay. Uh, default joystick profiles have been updated. Ship combat updates. So obviously, they've updated capacitors so that systems with 0% of power continue to reload slowly. Um, I did notice there was a bit of a bug where some things wouldn't seem to uh, wouldn't seem to reload after they had initially, yeah, sort of, yeah. Uh, weapons and items, and obviously now backpacks is a thing, um, which is really really cool because you can basically put them on any one you want. Um, yeah, if you like, yeah, don't want to have a backpack, you don't have a backpack. If you have a backpack, then you can obviously put one on. You can mix and match. Uh, do keep in mind that without a backpack, you only have uh, five SK or eight SK or around that much. Um, and then when you have a backpack, it goes up to like 75 or something. So it's a big difference. Um, so keep that in mind. Major bug fixes. They fixed an issue causing some players to repeatedly and carry, uh, encounter 30009 errors. While attempting to join the PTU, that said, I still got that when I tried to join today after I had timed out. There should no longer be a inner thought prompt for opening and closing the pilot canopy on multiple ships. Fix an issue causing the AUEC to unequip items and randomly disappear from players' inventories. I've still had that. Um, I still had a scene where I was set up uh, a situation where I died and I lost my ammo and stuff like that. Um, well, actually, I respawned because I, I went back to the menu and then re-logged in. And apparently, most of my stuff went to the base infantry. But I also lost some of my ammo and stuff as well. Should be no longer different colours between player characters, heads and bodies. Uh, they fixed an issue causing ASOP terminals to not function on the first interaction. Fixed issue causing players to sometimes take collision damage when entering ships. Asteroid FPS deposits should now be able to be scanned. Uh, uh, FPS AI should no longer continue to shoot through other enemies. AI while attacking a player. Um, you deal ships, uh, uh, shops, uh, stairs leading down to the hammerhead should no longer be missing collision. Players should no longer be able to dock a parasite ship into the constellation from above. That was obviously a bug. Uh, multiple player checkpoints should no longer be displayed. Um, at the same time, Arena Commander races and trolleys found in Area 8 Ainge should no longer be clipping through the floor, removing functionality. Although I did hear a few of them what sounded like banging around. Was that or was someone trapped in one of the hospital beds and couldn't get out? Could have gone either way. Sure. They fixed five client crashes, three server crashes, fixed a back end service timeout, fix service performance optimizations, and player character network optimizations to help reduce players sliding and teleporting while on foot. Alright, Fez, what are your thoughts on 315 PTU for Wave 1? I know you haven't played it much, but your initial impressions? Um, well, I have to figure out how to put gear onto my character. Yeah, drag and drop. 
Right. Um. Initial thoughts in my ten minutes that I've been in? Okay, so far, I guess. I just haven't really gotten into it yet. Yeah. That much. Obviously, we've just had sitcom, so obviously, you know, we were very much distracted with that. Um, I was playing this while watching sitcom, which, you know, I found a lot of stuff, and we'll obviously do a separate video on sitcom. Um, but I initially found a lot of the sitcom stuff that they were talking about this year was the same stuff they were talking about two years ago. Um, I think I, I have a theory about that. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's just, um, yeah, what I've noticed. Um, apart from that, um, generally I like it. Um, generally I think it's, it's good. Um, I'm having a few problems with the map. The hell? The... I just spawned back in my African A2. Ah, oh, from timeout? Yeah. Yeah, they said something about if you get on the same server or something, it should do that for you. Um, but I just joined in through you, though. Oh, okay. Persistence, maybe. Okay, well, that's fine, I suppose. Yeah. Gift horse, mouth. Um, but yeah, look at the end of the day. It, it's um, I like it. Um, I'm having fun. Um, I'm enjoying myself. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But, uh, but th there are bugs. Um, this is obviously the, the bad side, right? There's bugs with things, dropping things in inventory. Sometimes they won't transfer and they go back to where you were and you have to try and do it a few times and if it doesn't work then try going out of your inventory and going back in. That seems to help. Um, you know, I've had things right. go missing a couple of times. Um, it's all about try, try again, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's, look, if they can fix the bugs, it'd be interesting. Um, it's, it's definitely going to be harder. Um, I, I don't know how the community is going to feel about having to move all their stuff. Um... And, and lose their stuff if they die. Um, there's no more backspacing. Um, but yeah. But no, I, I quite enjoy it actually. It's uh, it's bringing a, uh, a little bit more realism to the game. I've, I've noticed a lot more medical on the medical beacons on the top of the screen. Um, seems to be a few of those going off lately. So yeah. But anyway, guys, let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you are playing the PTU, um, obviously, yeah, I'm enjoying it uh, for now. Uh, I, I just want them to fix some of the bugs. That's my only concern. <coughs> but for that, guys, have a great night. Enjoy yourself. We'll see you in the next video. We're going to talk about the 400i, and we're going to talk about our overall presentation of Setcon on two more videos. Apart from that, leave a like, smack that like button, new channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night.